Hey Rick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. Uh, we have an excellent lineup as usual. We've got some, some sweet 1941 pre-orders, new minifig of the month. First things first though, new release. The Cobras are shipping this week. Sold out online, still available in retail stores. Fully printed in all of his glory. Yes, we got all the different printed elements mm -hmm. shown right here. Sand shark. You can find some sweet images of this uh, of this helicopter. Yeah, it's it's uh that shark mouth is a really awesome addition. In in real life, you know, it's just quickly was sort of quickly painted on this mm -hmm. helicopter, but uh, I, I still think it kind of gives it that really nice intimidating look. Um, Crazy amount of detail, even on the top of like just printing everywhere. Little countermeasures, right? Mm -hmm. All, a lot of cross element stuff too. Looks really, really good, like you said, especially up in that uh, shark mouth. Yep. Canopy is um, excellent. Yes, those printed canopies, unreal. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got this uh, tri -bar barrel here, 3D printed gun, which looks freaking awesome. It's even got that nice subtle sloping on the different barrels. Yep. Yeah, yeah it really comes together. That's the, that's the only way to do those for sure. We'll go over the minifigs in a little bit more. We're gonna shoot the uh, designer studio with, uh, with Dan here shortly, so we'll have that up. Well, actually, we'll have it up as soon as Bell approves it, because that's how those work. So moving on from there, let's do some reviews of some stuff, and then we'll check in with the people who made them. First things first, we got the, the Hago, designed by Mary Wilson, Japanese light tank. This one is, both of these are still in prototype phase, but this one, I actually think this one won't come with any stickers. This is a fully printed model, Japanese tanker. Mm -hmm. so. so there's lots of good little playability hatches and turrets, mm -hmm. and it just, you know, little guns bristling all over the place on this thing. Yeah. And it's a sturdy model, so... Yeah. Yep, fun, good price point, etc. A lot, lot to love about the uh, the Hago. And then finally, we got another offering here from Brennan. Fe cool. Picking up our 1941 theme with the Wildcat. So this is specifically based off of the Wake Island Marines. Yeah, so you got those early, awesome. early war um, with that red dot in the middle of the star there. Mm -hmm. um, really awesome. Looks really slick in this camouflage, this sand green here, or yeah. sand blue. It's a pretty plain... Some, some difficult undertaking on that landing gear, but he nailed it, it is functional. Yeah. It tucks up in there real nice. We'll, he'll, he'll show you that in our check-in. And even this like, looks like it has suspension mm -hmm. in there. It's just, that's kind of nice and it's you know strong enough to hold the plane up. Mm -hmm. And then last but absolutely not least, new minifigs of the month. Yes. In the first variant, we'll, we'll explain more later, but this is, this is the first variant to come. Um, so we'll do a little check-in uh, with, with Landon here in just a second on those. Otherwise, let's head into the design room and uh, we'll start with Brennan, hear a little bit more about that, and then we'll go to Mary and yeah, we'll see what Brickmania was up to this week. All right, so we're checking in here with Brennan because he's got a new pre-order up and ready to go this week. This is the F4, F3 Wildcat. That it is. Which, uh, which has some really cool history behind it. This one's specifically uh, done to represent the Wake Island Marines. Um, what can you tell me about this uh, model here? Well, um... It was a pain to build uh, <laughs> in sand blue, but I think it turned out quite well. Yeah, it looks, um, looks pretty. It got the full functionality of, for example, the landing gear down here. Mm -hmm. So those can fold up. Nice. That took me a while to figure yeah, out. Yeah, I bet getting that angle to, to match the fuselage probably not an easy thing to do. Oh, absolutely. It was a nightmare, but we got it. Uh, you've got your guns sticking out of the ports here, mm -hmm. which I think looks really nice. Um, Got the old pre-war, uh, early war colors on it. So mm -hmm. we've got the uh, old roundel with the big red dot in the middle, and we've got the uh, red and white stripes on the rudder here. Mm -hmm. um, and that's very, very early look. But you love know, that we, brick built. That looks awesome. Oh, I think it looks great. And obviously, we had to change that later on because of the whole. Japanese already have the big. Yep, that's thing. a little <laughs> difficult to, to discern. You want to make sure that we're not mixing that up with the with the guns and whatnot. Um, yeah, we've also got the the numbers on here are of a certain uh, Captain Elrod. Sure. And uh, or also known as Hammer and Hank, he's mm -hmm. the one who uh, was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor. Very cool. Holding out on Wake Island and even sunk the. Kisaragi, I think. It's a Japanese destroyer um, with a bunch of army bombs. <laughs> and by a bunch, I mean one. Yeah, cool little tidbit. Exactly. I mean, it's surprising when you hit the uh, depth charges how explosive those things yeah, are. Yeah, no kidding. That, uh, that'll send the whole thing up real quick. Oh, very easily. Um, so we're going to be getting some printed parts for this eventually. Mm -hmm. So you see the stickers here now, but we've got... Uh, we're going to do the gun sight again mm -hmm. in the cockpit. That's going to be fun. Um... Uh, propeller tips are going to get there, do, and then 
uh, something a little new. We're going to, if you can see in there, mm -hmm. we're going to get a radial engine printed on that <sighs> dish in there. So it's going to really, really pull the whole look together. Um, and really sell that kind of rustic, yeah. tough, thick, <laughs> um, little uh, World War One, well, World War One, World War Two, early war yeah. aircraft. Well, a very, very cool model. Awesome to see it come together. Always fun when Brendan's got a got a pre-order ready to rock. So there you have it, available now. Uh, at brickmania.com and this will be uh, this will be an exciting one for the designer studio too because I know that uh, I know you got a lot of information that you're ready to share with us so thanks for checking in Brendan and uh, go get your wildcats all right so we're checking in now with Mary Wilson taking a look at the type 95 Hago which is a Japanese light tank like the continuation of the uh, camo scheme we had coming over from the uh, the previous model what can you tell me about some of the uh, the functions yeah, so very similar to the Type 89, mm -hmm. um, but so much smaller. No kidding. Like, this is definitely the smallest tank I've built, and it just, like, fits in your hands. It's so tiny. Mm -hmm. um, but in a similar way, like, we've got, like, two different guns. This one, again, coming out. Funky uh, turret. Funky angle coming from the turret. Um, back here, we have uh, access. You can open that up to access. Um, I guess the engine would be back there. Mm -hmm. um, got some extra tools. Uh, the exhaust again. Um, have an interesting uh, like mechanism down here and like these wheels are going to be printed uh, reddish brown so that's going to be cool uh, I guess the other thing was like this uh, hull is like yeah. oddly round mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of fun to incorporate because it's really like it rounds and it's like straight again Sure. so that was kind of fun to build but yeah just a really little tank mm -hmm. yeah it is, it is It is quite a, like, kind of like the Renault on that adorable level but I right. like I like the <laughs> The kind of slightly offset turret and just all the angles we have going on there you're right with that like round midsection very a, a very unique looking tank and a, an excellent addition to the lineup thanks for checking in of course okay so we've gone over the hago and the wildcat let's get to the minifig of the month with there its accompanying perfect caliber which happens to be in stock so that's hey well last um yeah so these would be the africa core so 1941 north africa kind of era is what we're going for um they're in their tropical uniform and it's they've been out in the sun for quite a bit so you know when they first get these uniforms issued it's this dark olive color or kind of you know medium olive color um and they quickly would fade in that sun their dyes weren't the best quality ever right. um you know so that, and they were just out in this crazy intense sun so that would fade to kind of this almost minty or limeish kind of green uh, that, that we've done with the uh, color shifting here um they're wearing their tropical boots that was super iconic. They're kind of these high boots that are made of a uh, canvas um, in that kind of like a sort of a teal green uh, mm -hmm. uppers uh, in that canvas material. Um, so yeah, like you said, there's different variants that we're gonna be releasing. So this first variant will be featuring the Car 98 pouches. So this is kind of the army builder one. Um, and so this is the first batch and we will have another batch at the end of the month. But mm -hmm. First batch, first first wave will be Car 98 pouches, pouches, um, and then we'll have another uh, another one next week. Mm -hmm. So those are the MP40s variant. or is MP40. That the, yeah. yeah, and then the fi the final variant will be the machine gunner with nice. that ammo. So yeah, so stay tuned for those. You know, next week, week after that. Um, the back, he's uh he's got what else does he's got? He's got his entrenching tool, um, his bread bag. He's got the all new canteen that I made. It's it's the they refer to it as it's like the coconut canteen. Oh sweet! Because it kind of looks like a, like a little coconut. It's kind of funny de funny detail. Um, it's, it's it's actually made of like a, a compressed wood fibers. Mm -hmm. So they would like I don't know if it's just like, super round like that and kind of brownish. Know, it looks or? like a coconut, dude. Check it out. It looks like <laughs> a coconut. Yeah. <laughs> looks like a coconut. Um, then an updated artwork on the um, gas mask canister. So they would just. Um, I don't know if it's like World War One stock, but they would take older gas mask canisters, and it looked like, it looks like they spray painted them, um, kind of that tan or like um, what is it, Dunkelgelb, I think. Okay. Um, color, and then, but you know, it would kind of wear out over time because it's not like factory ap applied paint, so it's mm -hmm. got a little bit of chipping and rust, simulated rust going on there. So, uh, helmet again, it's they would receive their standard stall helms. And then they would spray paint them um, tan in the field. So I've simulated the um, the insignia, the decals. Um, I've simulated that uh, as if it's like left bare um, with the spray painting. So that's showing through. You got the uh, nice palm tree there, and you got the uh, 
uh, other insignia on the other side as well. So, yeah. Pick up the Car 98, car 98 to go with this. Perfect caliber. Uh, looks really slick. So that's, a, that's what I got. Yeah, that's a very fitting minifig. Fun to get them in the variants like that. Yeah. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, and yeah, like you said, Army Builder version. So nice, nice way to kick off the month, man. That's sweet. Yeah, and if you, if you notice from some of our previous releases, we got the DAC Messenger. Um, there's some mystery crates. These guys would fit in really nicely with that. Yeah. And um, something that I'm trying to capture is when you look at photographs, everybody's wearing like a slightly different configuration. Sure. Or or, or like tone some different tints because they you know get issued their gear at different times. Mm -hmm. Um, so that some people have been out in the sun more, some people wear their jacket more, you know, it's just everything kind of, all the different tones are just all over the place. Yeah, right, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. There we have it. Um, that is pretty much the rundown I can think of. Remember, many retail stores have those sold out pre-orders, so if you see this beauty and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have it, and you got a retail store near you or within reach or whatever, go pick it up because they'll be there available. Otherwise, we'll try to get a, a restock pre-order out here before too terribly long. Um, anything else you want to add, Ben? Um, Dylan, what have you been working on this week? No, I don't know what I'm, I, I'm trying to think about. Putting what. all this stuff together. All this stuff together. <laughs> we were running around this, this morning, grabbing stuff from a, all over the store. And, yeah. uh, oh man, what, is I, what have I been working on? Um, I just finished up an Italian pilot. Oh yeah, for Plain Bricks is, uh, yeah. oh man, I'm going to butcher this, Fogolore or something like that. Fogore, I don't Fogore, know. Fogore, yeah. I don't know either. Yeah, I don't know either. It's a really good looking fighter though, Plain Bricks. It looks excellent. So I just finished that pilot up. Sweet. And uh, it's looking pretty slick. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I've been working on. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, that's all. see what's coming in the future. It's been fun to see uh, when, you know, we get these new designers coming together. We're doing a lot of the, uh, the digital designer yeah. studios, getting some of those recorded. Um, and obviously, you know, Brick Mania likes to, to push the envelope when it comes to 3D printed materials and just, you know, look at all the printing that's going on here. And man, has it in, in infected the designers. I mean, they are just, yeah. they are so excited to be able to yeah. take advantage of some of that stuff. Some of the things that are in the pipeline, I think, is uh, is, is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. So and cool. Especially, Dan's teased the uh, a new printer that we got. It arrived on a big pallet. Nice. So it's a nice new 3D printer. So that'll... More to come, yeah, right? More cool That doesn't stuff. mean that we're suddenly just going to have a whole bunch of accessories we're available, trying but we're working but towards that yeah. it is ultimately the goal but when you step it up in kit production you know you got to compensate that a little bit there so sure that's been fun we're doing the instagram tv yep if you guys have been seeing those they're kind of post all over the place we're still trying to figure out what we want to do for it but i don't know it's a nice little sneak peek yeah it's pretty informal either that or nobody fun. will watch these anymore because they're like what? whatever i saw everything on wednesday like i don't need no to check they'll, they'll still these watch guys. They'll i still hope watch. so let us know if you're still watching oh Coupon code right now. I'm still watching for coupon code. I'm still watching for 0.1 percent off. <laughs> I don't know. Type it in the box at checkout. Might see what happens. Something. I don't know. I'm still watching. I don't know. Yeah. Other than that, nope. Not much going on. Okay. Cool. We'll see you on Monday.